Hi, Steve Lucas here. It is January 26, 2021. I'm coming to you from my office here at the Brook Training Center. It is a beautiful day here in Costa Rica. We've entered the dry season, which means incredible mornings, no rain all day long, clear skies, uh, but a little bit hotter. Uh, nevertheless, it's just a joy to uh, come to you this morning. Wanted to share an update as we've entered a new year. First of all, Happy New Year. Second of all, tax receipts have gone out. The majority of them went out via email, so you should have received that. If you didn't, you may be receiving a, um, a snail mail a receipt, and we sent to those that we did not have active email addresses for. If you don't receive that in the next few days, please contact me or if there's any problems with your receipt, if the amount does not look right to you, contact me. We'll double check and we'll make sure you get what you need for your taxes. Also, just want a lot of things still happening. We're continuing to distribute food. Uh, we've shared some of the photos uh, in our newsletter that you can see, and we'll share some more later. God is doing great things. Your uh, contributions to that effort have been uh, tremendous, and they're going a long way. We work through local churches to make sure that that donation is connected with a local church where someone can go for spiritual help and guidance. Um, some of the needs are being met right in the church and others are using that as an evangelistic opportunity to share the love of God with those in their community uh, that do not go to church. So God is using that in a tremendous way. The construction is done. Uh, Oscar is upstairs. He's doing the final grout on one bathroom, but other than that, it's done. Uh, I'm not going to show you any photos right now. We have so much cleaning to do. Plus, on Thursday, the uh, tables uh, are coming for the seating areas outside. And so as soon as we get those installed, we're going to take a bunch of photos. We'll be putting those up on our Facebook page. Uh, but so glad to about have this done, get our house back to normal. Uh, mission teams, we've um, just about locked in our second team. Very excited about that. It'll be a new group that we've uh, not worked with before, a group of university students, uh, physicians assistants that will hopefully will be coming uh, to do some medical clinics through us, uh, through some of the local churches that uh, reach some of the harder to reach areas. These are very popular here. Um, the Costa Ricans love to have U.S. doctors and medical people uh, take a look at them and, and uh, uh, offer whatever assistance they can. So really excited about that group coming a little bit later this year. Uh, continue to pray. We're talking to a few more groups uh, about coming down as well. We'd like to get them on the calendar. Uh, yes, things are difficult, uh, uncertain. We don't know about what restrictions may come later. Uh, but we're moving forward in faith. Uh, we've got to get back to work. We've got to make sure that uh, we're meeting needs here. Um, training pastors, working through churches, reaching communities, making a difference. Uh, also, we launched this year. We, did, we announced it on our website. You may have seen that already, but I wanted to uh, mention it here. Uh, the Beverly Lucas Volunteer Service Award, named after my mom, our longest serving volunteer here at the Brook Ministries. Uh, she's kept our home office running in Texas, making sure that our banking and our mail and any other uh, things that needed to take place in the U.S. were taking place. And she has retired and passed that, those duties on uh, to another uh, couple that we just love dearly. Uh, but uh, in her honor, we have created the Beverly Lucas Volunteer Service Award. And what that is, is each month we're uh, collecting nominations from local pastors uh, for their best volunteers. And uh, our, we have a team set up, and I'm not on that team, but we have a team set up that'll read through those nominations each month and select the winner. And that winner will receive $100, uh, just a token of appreciation. And the ministry they serve in will receive $100. And we'll be making those presentations at churches as we have opportunities. Sometimes we'll do it virtually. Uh, but we just wanted to raise the value of volunteerism just in honor of a great volunteer. So really excited about that. Uh, I need to get back to work. So for now, that's all. If you have uh, any prayer requests you'd like us to pray over, please send those my way. I've included our prayer requests in our newsletter. So uh, take a look at those. And there's several updates on those. So thank you all for your love. Thank you all for um, being with us and supporting us in this great journey. God bless.